on the SL120, if you were aligning the head. If I were doing it, first of all, I would look through the viewfinder. I would look through the binoculars and make sure that I have equal space on each side of the bar. I would put it on the, and this would be, this would be the 12 power. There's no lens, so you're looking through clear, clearly, and I would look on the space on each side of the rod to make sure my head is centered. Like this. I would make sure each side had equal space as I was looking through it. If they're both off to one side or the other, then I would know that my head needs to be turned a little bit. Loosen these two allens and turn the head one way or the other, gently. Be careful that you don't lose your focus. This way. You're just turning left and right to get the, the space on each side of your focus bar to be even in each eye. Now, if one eye is off, then that, that side of your binocular might be out of alignment. So you'll have to determine which one is is the correct one and then align your head with the correct one and then work with aligning the one that's out. Now once you have it aligned and you look through your binoculars and the light is not centered on your bar, if it's to the left or down, even though your space on each side is, is good, your light might be off. And so, to adjust up and down, right here on this prism, the back of this prism, there's a little screw. And that would make it go up and down. Now, if you needed to go left or right, there's two screws on the other, on the side of the, the prism assembly on top. We loosen those and turn it so that your light is in the center of the bar on your good eye. And once you have, once you've determined your good eye is right, then you can start working on the other the other eye of the binocular. Now on a, it's held on by an Allen wrench. On a convergent, if you wanted to, if you needed to move the light up or down, you would loosen these two screws, make a little mark so that you know where your starting point is, and turn it one way or the other just a little bit. First you'd have to loosen these up, the, the screws, and then you can turn your lens just a little bit. It's usually the opposite. If you need your light to go down, you'd make your lens turn to go up. If you needed your light to go up, you would turn your lens to go down, but put a little mark so you'll know where your starting point is. 
and you tighten it up and you have to put it in and see how it's see if it's adjusted and it takes very little that's going up and down but if you needed to go sideways you'd have to go inside the head take out your eyepiece there's two screws right here take the cover off and you have your prism assembly and underneath the prism assembly you have three screws you loosen those three screws you can move your prism assembly left or right and that will help you to to line up left or right you can actually put it back in put your head back in put your eyepiece back on and after you've loosened the screws you can you can move this while you're looking through your eyepiece at the target to get it centered with the other good eye and you can move that prism assembly left or right and that will help you to line it up to be equal with the good eye. So up and down is on the inside of the head, left and right is right here. Once you get it, you can tighten it back up, put your cover back on, and that will help you to align your head. what you might find if something is off it's, it's usually because of the barrel the pivot barrel might be off bent so once you have your cover off you take off this screw right here then you can pull it off of the pivot barrel. If your pivot barrel is loose, there's two screws underneath this cap. If you take this cap off, it's glued on. You can tighten your screws up that back on. So it's just that's probably where your issue is. If one of your eyes is out, it's probably because that's a little bent. You can try to to open the edges up if they've collapsed. They're not the same, but they should be even all the way across. You turn and you can see the gap on one side on the inner edge is different than what's in the middle that means it's probably got pulled and collapsed so if it's possible to open up that edge a little bit your alignment will be better but you get you get it the best you can and if you can't get it then you try to align it with the methods I showed you earlier Give it a try.